Hello, welcome to GamerX, the number one party server. We appreciate your interest in creating player object sets. Any player is free to create player objects. This tutorial can be found at slash POV. For a full list of player object commands and shortcuts, type slash POV help. Locating the object ID can be done through our website forums at GamerXServer.com at dev.prinesci.com, which has a fantastic searching tool, or with any map editor. This palm tree looks perfect. The object ID is 3505. We want to press T to bring up our text box. By typing slash CPO, the object ID 3505, and pressing enter, we've created a palm tree. When a player object is created, it will be given a player object number. We can find the player object number by looking at the chat box, or by typing slash LAPO to find the number of the last player object created. Alternatively, we can use slash NTO to find the number of the nearest player objects. Let's create a few more player objects for fun. To edit the position of the player object using the editing tool, type slash EPO and the player object number, or by typing slash SO2 and selecting the object with our cursor. Now we can move or rotate the player object on the XYZ plane. GX temp name ID20 must load your player objects in his client to view them. They can't see what you're working on, but we'll get to that later. Do not annoy players that are creating player objects. It's against our rules. Don't be a noob. For more precise editing, we can use the SPOOZ, SPOOY, and the SPOOX commands with the player object number and a specified offset to calculate the exact distance that a player object must move. Here's a quick tip. When aligning player objects, we may experience a flickering glitch. That's because the objects are overlapping each other. By using the offset commands to move one of the player objects a small distance, we can fix that issue. Using the SPORZ, SPORY, or the SPORX commands allows us to rotate a player object by 360 degrees. These tools can be used to align player objects on the map or with other player objects. Use the SAPOOZ, S-A-P-O-O-Y and S-A-P-O-O-X commands with a specified offset to move all player objects. Typing slash D-U-P-O, the player object number and the desired offset allows us to duplicate a player object. Slash G-P-O and the player object number allows us to teleport to a player object. Slash G-L-P-O, allows us to teleport to the last created player object. Slash PPO and the player object number allows us to position a player object in front of us. Slash DPO and the player object number allows us to delete a player object. Slash UDPO allows us to undelete the last player object that we deleted. Be careful because only the last player object deleted can be undeleted. Let's save our progress so that we don't lose any of our hard work. Slash SPOS and the file name to save the player objects as a set. The file name is space and case sensitive. Don't forget the file name or you won't be able to load your work later. To delete all our player objects, type slash DAPO. Remember to save your work because this command cannot be undone. To load a previously saved player object set, type slash LPOS and the file name. The player objects will load in the same position that we saved them. An important note to remember is that player objects are invisible to all players who do not load them. To view or refresh another player's player objects, type slash RPO and the player name or ID. 
to toggle other players from being able to load or refresh your player objects, type slash TPOBS. Now GX temp name ID 20 won't know what you're working on. By asking an admin, you may submit your player object set for events, goo hunts, or races. Our team of friendly admins are always happy to help. Thank you to all contributors and to you for playing at GamerX. Make sure to check out some of our other videos. Like our video and leave us a comment. We will gladly reply to any questions you may have. We hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching.